What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So in this video for NFA investing, we're going to be talking about XRP. XRP was another one that was brought up by the Patreon community. So I ended up um, doing this vote, which is a very large vote. I don't know why I just pressed that button, but a very large vote um, where we had Gala, we had DOT, we have XRP, Doge, VET, um, you know, FYI or F, uh, um, FY2, right? Um, but XRP was undoubtedly the uh, the winner here, where you have 60% of people that voted on this. If you guys want to vote, go over to the Patreon. Link is in the description to vote on the next one. It will be minus XRP, but it will include everything else. And as we go through this list, we will add more to the list because we have a lot of other cryptocurrencies we want to talk about as well. But we will continue to go through different things every single day um, on this channel. And we might end up doing shorts videos. So if you guys want a little glimpse of what it's all about, we can provide that little glimpse of what it's all about and what my opinion is of that position on this channel in a short form and then you can look at the long video if you guys want to let's say if you don't have time you can look at the short form video then you can look at the the longer video but um, we're talking about xrp here and again if you guys want to subscribe to nfa investing subscribe to nfa investing and you know be a part of the team here sorry if you hear any kid noises that are upstairs because they are playing upstairs and that's all that kids do is run around and jump and all of that stuff which probably shouldn't be doing in the house but you know, they do it anyways because they're kids. They like to test boundaries. But anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about XRP. XRP, if you look at their website, uh, obviously we're going to go through what XRP is. Uh, really good website. It's a little bright uh, for me. Uh, I don't really like a lot of platforms that are in, you know, light mode. I would love to have a dark mode. I guess maybe they do have a dark mode. Uh, they do have a dark mode. Boom. Never mind just uh found that out so they do have a dark mode um really well put together um explains a lot of things obviously just like every other crypto site to where they talk about what the utility is why the developers chose xrp ledger i'm talking about the low cost talking about the high performance um proven reliability all the different features that they do have here that we will go through in the breakdown that's on coin market cap <clears throat> so Obviously, their their thing is all well put together. Let's go into X, uh, let's go into XRP on uh, Coin Market Cap. Show you where they are. Um, also, give you opinions on what I feel about the position as well. So XRP is currently at fifty two cents. It's up about 0.5 percent which is a decent price that it's at if we look at it over the last uh, uh month we can see that the low price was 32 cents the high price 55 cents here so that's huge right it's absolutely amazing to be able to see um uh, some sort of growth within it but even in the past you can see this move a significant amount as well from like 60 cents up to a dollar plus so if you're just looking for significant gains you can find that with xrp and a good swing trade or a good uh, day trade as well so there's a lot of potential with this position, not just seeing uh, the long-term potential that some people see. For me, with cryptocurrency, I never really see um, you know long-term potential with a ton of positions unless they pay me an APY. That's just how I feel because I feel like I should get something in return for holding it, not just the gains of the position. I expect a little bit more. So something like an Algorand or something like a Cosmos or something like even a Terra Luna Classic where we get a certain percentage back with Terra Station. So. Anyways, currently XRP is sitting at a $25.9 billion market cap, which lists it at six when it comes to cryptocurrencies, which is why a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people invest into it because it shows potential for the future. The things that they're fighting for is more than just a simple lawsuit. It's like, hey, are they going to win their lawsuit or not? Obviously, there's so much uh, that depends on it. And we'll talk about that as we get into more of the detail. But anyways, uh, point uh, five, two cents. And I feel like with Coinbase and all the other platforms, which again, we will get into, um, it should probably see this as a benefit because they're fighting for cryptocurrencies in general. Um, while everybody else is kind of sitting on the sidelines and it's like, you know what, I'll just settle on this and we'll just pay you out and, you know, we'll go on about our days. Um, but anyways, volume today is around $2.3 billion up 70%. And again, we're sitting at two point two point uh no not two point um twenty five point nine billion dollars uh, worth of market cap. This has reached a level of I believe a hundred plus billion dollars worth of a market cap. If we scroll down here, we're gonna see um, the 
uh, circulating supply that's sitting at 49.86 uh, billion, right? 50%. And then the overall supply looking at about 100 billion that's actually out there. So can find a form of dilution that is there. Um, let's scroll down here and let's look at the chart. If we look at the chart over history, we're going to see that this has reached $3 at one point, has fallen, fallen back down to about 19 um, cents, increased all the way up to $1.60. Now, I did end up gaining something from this. So I ended end up buying in, um, I believe somewhere around 60. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I did invest into this, sold at a high point, ended up seeing it at a low point again. Um, and then you can see it at some of these high points again, and you basically have some forms to where it would be a really, really good swing trade. But obviously with all the negativity, again, built around maybe the lawsuit and delistings as well, um, people are just like, you know, getting off the train or don't really feel like it could be valuable. But I still feel like XRP could be valuable in the future, especially when we look at the long-term solution of cryptocurrencies in the top 10. Instead of cryptocurrencies in the top 10 being at a max of 100 billion, we're looking at those being at, you know, maybe a max of 200 billion or 300 billion while we see Ethereum and Bitcoin run up into the trillions, right? So that's what we can expect from a lot of these positions. So again, if we uh, look at the market cap, we're going to see that the market cap here reached $120 billion. $120 billion is huge. Even seeing this up at uh, 73 billion or so, 73, 72 uh, billion or so is, is huge. It's a huge milestone. It keeps us up in the level, you know, where you're in the top 10, you're always in the conversation of being one of the top cryptocurrencies out there and for good reason. So let's scroll down and look at what XRP is all about. So launched in 2021, XRP Ledger, XRPL, uh, is an open source, permissionless, and decentralized technology. Benefits of the XRP Ledger include its low cost, 0 0.0002 to transact, speeds, settling transactions in three to five seconds, scalability, 1,500 transactions per second, and inherently uh, green attributes, carbon neutral and energy efficient. Uh, the XRP Ledger also features the first decentralized exchange, the DEX, <clears throat> um, and custom uh, tokenization capabilities built into the protocol since uh, 2012. The XRP Ledger has been operating reliably, um, having closed 70 million uh, ledgers. Let's scroll down to what makes XRP unique. XRP Ledger presents a wide variety of applications and use cases uh, related to payments, including micropayments, DeFi, and soon NFTs. Uh, deployed in 2012, the XRPLs, uh, the XRPL supports enterprises and Python, Java, Java and JavaScript uh, developers with powerful utility and flexibility. On XRP website, developers can access different tutorials to help them get started uh, using different coding languages, uh, building apps, managing accounts, and more. Um, if you scroll down here, so we obviously want to get into the big the big piece, which is like the whole lawsuit and all that stuff. XRP Ledger Architects gifted 80 billion XRP to Ripple uh, so that the company could uh, build use cases, including its global payment network, RippleNet, around the digital asset. So this is obviously huge. This is where a lot of people see a ton of huge value in XRP is around the payment option of it, the payment side of things, um, being that like cryptocurrency that can be used as a form of payment, just like how Bitcoin is um, kind of uh, preached uh, around the world to be the world currency, when in reality, it costs a lot to really mine Bitcoin and going through those transactions is um, not really a nightmare, but definitely more difficult than what you can see with a lot of uh, more modern cryptocurrencies now since Bitcoin has not really updated anything or, or done anything to change anything. Um, it, where can you buy XRP? So if we scroll up here and look at where you can buy XRP, um, if you look at markets, you can see you can buy it on Binance. The top place that you can buy it is Binance, KuCoin, FTX. You can't buy it on uh, Coinbase anymore because they did delist it based on the lawsuit. I don't know why Coinbase just doesn't like uh, lawsuits that happen um, you know, or, or anything like that. So it's obviously a difficult situation there, which is one of the most if not the most popular uh, cryptocurrency exchange that's out there with um, I think like 70 or close to 100 million users. It, it's huge. It's a huge platform. So you don't really see that on there, but you still do have Binance. You still do have KuCoin. You still have people that believe in it, different CEXs that believe in it. But again, if we scroll down and look at why, um, let me actually go back up here. 
sorry, I mean, I got to go back to the overview. Uh, if we scroll down and look at why, so Ripple and the SEC. Since late 2020, if you wanted the information here, since late 2020, Ripple Labs, the creator of XRP token, has been locked in a, a legal battle with the United States Security and Exchange Commission. The big question is whether, whether or not XRP is a security. Um, on September 22nd, 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs um, and two of its executives <clears throat> on the grounds that they they traded uh, $1.3 billion in their XRP token as a security without registering it with the commission. Uh, there has been arguments for, for and against the lawsuit. However, Ripple has strongly countered the claims, arguing that the SEC has been biased uh, in its assessment, which they definitely are. The SEC uses the Howey test based on the Supreme Court ruling um, S SEC v. Uh, W.J. Howey. Uh, company in 1946 to determine whether a cryptocurrency is a, sec a security. An asset is considered a security if it is sold with and with the exception of getting profit from the efforts of other parties. Based on the commission's uh, definition, XRP in in the in its lawsuit, the uh, cryptocurrency would pass the Howey test, and according to the SEC regulations, all securities must be registered. Um, <laughs> While most companies targeted by the SEC in similar matters chose to settle, Ripple, Ripple decided to fight. Uh, the outcome of the lawsuit will undoubtedly have uh, far-reaching implications um, in, in the crypto space. If Ripple prevails, the SEC would lose some of its credibility, giving other crypto-based companies the confidence to revolt. <clears throat> On the flip side, if SEC wins the case, uh, it could um, <clears throat> upend the way crypto firms operate and usher in new wave, uh, a new wave of uh, registration <clears throat> rules that apply to securities. So obviously, the lawsuit is the biggest piece that a lot of people bring up. It's like, hey, uh, what's going to happen with this? Now, I'm not sure of the details as to uh, what happened there and whether you know they won or they're looking more towards leaning there but i know cases like this tend to take a very long time because if they feel like they're going to lose they try and prolong the inevitable so that um you know people end up questioning whether they should be investing in xrp and seeing xrp collapse would be a benefit to um obviously the other side involved just like how hedge funds are really uh taking time um instead of putting more money into like AMC or GME or all of these short positions, they just put the time factor into it. Eventually people will give up and that's what they're looking for. If people end up giving up on XRP, um, then the SEC ends up winning on the factor that they can't really pay their legal team, right? Um, but I don't really know where we are with that, but I know that that's, that was a big uh, piece that was always brought up, but I feel like XRP has a huge future in the payment side of things. So when I look at it, Yes, it could be a long-term play. A lot of people believe in it as a long-term play, especially at some of these prices that we're at now um, and seeing how it could be valued at so much more, you know, 100 billion, 200 billion, seeing this triple, quadruple in price, all of that stuff. It's definitely very valuable. Um, I look at it as more of a swing trade, which I look at a lot of cryptocurrencies unless I can gain some sort of APY with it, which I don't know if I could anywhere. I can't invest on Binance. I can invest on KuCoin, but I can't invest on Binance. So I'm not quite sure um, what I can do there and what I can gain in certain places. So anyways, guys, hit the like button. Let me know if you enjoy this update. Again, if you guys want to, um, you know, vote on what the next one is, the thorough, uh, breakdown that we have here and, you know, uh, what I decide to do with it. If I decide to buy any, feel free to go ahead and check out my Patreon and, uh, vote along with everybody else <clears throat> to, um, how to get your cryptocurrency heard. Eventually, we will talk about those cryptocurrencies, but it's just whether we talk about it right now, um, your vote may be the difference in getting your cryptocurrency that you want to see reviewed, actually reviewed. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.